One thing that comes easily to men are orgasms. In fact, according to studies, 85% of men climax every time they have sex. Now there's many types of male orgasms. There's the penile orgasm, usually achieved by passing the penis through a hole, a wet dream, where the body ejaculates old sperm, making way for new ones while you're sleeping. Then there's dry orgasms, where a man can climax, but doesn't release any semen, also known as shooting blanks. Today, I'm talking about one of the least discussed and yet most intense of them all, the prostate orgasm. Do you know where your pee spot is? A pee spot? Yes. My pee spot? Ooh, let's just get right down to it. On his top of his head? Top of his head? No, I don't think so. A pee spot? But it's not the head. It's not the head. Got it. It's the other other entrance. So I should tell my boyfriend to bend over. Oh, bend over. Yes. <laughs> okay. Got it. Where would you go? Um, I would hit the G spot, probably. Yeah. And then just hope that alphabetically it would yeah. somehow just go G L M N O P. Yeah. No, it's yeah. it's a different hole altogether. Okay. It's in my butt. It's in your butt. Your pee spot is your prostate. Oh, okay. But more specifically, it's a spot that you can access in your anus, and when you stimulate the prostate, you can milk it and end up with a full body orgasm. Wow, that's a lot of information to drop. Okay. <laughs> what was your first prostate experience? Just a cucumber and a, a prayer. So your prostate or key spot it is that secondary erogenous zone that a lot of men are able to achieve orgasm from. It's that walnut sized gland that's right below your bladder and in between the root of your penis and the anus. Now the easiest way to access the prostate is through the anus. That's how you can get that nice massage. Has anyone here had a prostate orgasm? Jeffrey, why are you scared? I was just like, I was like, is anyone else going to be proud? Right. That's amazing. Like, hey. yeah. It's like a all body experience. Like you feel it, like your toes, your hands. Like it's like you're just like all one whole orgasm as opposed to just like one spot orgasm. It's like ten times as much as it was before when I just like had sex with someone. A straight guys are missing out. I feel yeah, so yeah. cheated. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know the G spot, as you know, the stimulation for that is about three quarters of the finger of the way up, and then massaging inward. Mm -hmm. And the P spot is about the same, about three quarters of the finger up, and then massaging forwards towards the belly button, not towards the back. And kind of like, you know, the G-spot, when you feel it, it's yeah. got that rigid feel to it. Kinda. Your prostate should feel a little hard and also kind of like the surface of a walnut. Can you <laughs> do a P-spot orgasm without actually penetrating? Can you do it just from outside? Yes, there are some men that can achieve P-spot orgasm through the perineum, also known as the taint or the gooch. The gooch. Yeah. <laughs> I've been kind of dating this girl, and every time we start having sex, she goes straight from my butt with her finger. But before I go over to her house, I make sure I use like three extra wet wipes. Just get it clean as a whistle down there because I know she's going for it. But at the same time, it's hard for me to get over that initial, there's a finger going in my butt and I'm not in the doctor's office. You know what I mean? Like, how do I get comfortable with this? I feel like you're doing all the right things. You're giving yourself that prep work. You're acknowledging as you go over there, this is gonna happen. Cause really it has to open up for you. And that's okay. a big part of you feeling comfortable. And also like, oh, I feel clean and I feel like I want to really get into it. I love the fact that you have been open to anal play. What percentage of straight men do you guys think are open to prostate play? Probably like 30 Like percent. honestly? 25? Like <laughs> the actual <laughs> statistic is 71% of straight men yes. are open. Yes, yes straight men. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the party. <laughs> <laughs> and the good news is that from your partners, if you are in a heterosexual relationship, 80% of straight women are open to doing some form of prostate play. Mm. Now, Danielle, where are you yeah. on the prostate scale? You know, I've been there. I've made people have an orgasm through that prostate area. I've tried it myself. Oh, like, I would say it felt good, but then it also felt like weird at the same time. I remember the first time like I had it, like they were playing with my prostate, like it definitely hurt. Yeah. And then like after a while you're like, oh, I actually like this, okay. Right. Oh, right. That's an amazing point because ah. it takes on average okay. about 20 minutes to experience a prostate orgasm, yeah. which is not massively dissimilar from a G-spot orgasm. And a lot of women, they don't achieve it their first time. 
You got to play around, feel comfortable with the area, revisit it another day. Yeah, exactly. But you have to put a lot of consistent pressure. This is not your quick jerk and go, right? Yeah. This, this is an experience <laughs> that you're opening yourself up to. Now, a really great way to first get into prostate play might be through the perineum. And the magic wand, have you guys heard of the magic wand? Yeah, is that the, is that the Hitachi? The, or yes, With it's the a Hitachi. Ball on the end or yes, something? Yes, exactly. It's like it's from my neck, and I'm like, you're lying. It's, it's for <laughs> you know? But it provides a really intense vibration that can actually get to the prostate. So that might be a starter really? toy for you. And plus, you can bring it into the bedroom, like, this is for. This is for you, <laughs> and a little bit for me as well too. We you just put one. it in my box. Do you? Yeah, we have You've got one. your homework then, Michael. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Can I just say, very privileged to be sitting here with a group of men who are so open, and I hope that this did open you up a little bit more to the possibilities of pleasure that are out there for you. Prostate play is not just for one type of person. It's for anybody who wants to explore different areas of pleasure aside from just penetration. And the best thing about prostate play is you can go at your own pace. You can either do it externally or internally. You can use a tool like the vibrating magic wand or you can use a vibrating butt plug. It's about going at the pace that feels right for you. Thank you for watching Sexology. We'll see you next time. Yeah. yeah. yeah.